this ayah actually I still get motivated but by this ayah at the end of Surah Fajr and so your heart slowly and gradually step by step gets ready to be asked by Allah the creator and he suddenly puts you in this on this stage in the judgment day and he goes like so what have you got what have you done with your life what do you have in your hand next to hollywood in america i thought it was rich but when i got to find allah when i was confronted with the light of the quran i just found out what the real treasure and values lie i was like wow this religion not only tells you to go in the heart of the society you have to make a difference it broke and shattered the front of the light of these eyes of the quran it was so powerful in other religions you know i just found that the more religious you want to be the more pious that you want to be for example for in christianity or in buddhism you have to go to a certain mountain and get away from the society next to california beach it was then that i became real rich through this rope of Quran that took me out of the darkness of this world. Oh yeah, actually, I still get motivated but by this ayah at the end of Surah Fajr. And so your heart slowly and gradually, step by step, gets ready to be asked by Allah, the Creator, and he suddenly puts you in this on this stage in the judgment day and he goes like so what have you got what have you done with your life what do you have in your hands and uh, the ayah i think is bismillahir rahmanir rahim yaqulu ya laytani qaddamtu li hayati so absolutely beautiful it's like someone realistically asked you what are you doing with your life what are you doing with all these blessings that you have and suddenly i felt so empty-handed i was like i am doing nothing i haven't even figured out what i'm going to do with my life let alone doing something the message would be that stick to the quran read the quran recite the quran learn the quran understand the quran teach it to others Every time you go and open the Quran and read it and recite it, there's something new. When you go and read the Quran, you become a little bit more and better than your yesterday. So inspiring, it was so motivational as a young woman, as a young artist, as a young person who wanted to have, an, have a positive influence on people's lives. I remember that at that moment, I'm sorry, subhanAllah. At that moment, I broke. The whole me just shattered into pieces. The whole ego, the whole me, 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 that narcissist person, that feminist, that person who only thought about money than this world. I was in the state mentally, with my heart, with my soul, with my intellectual. I, I wasn't on this earth. My it was just light. It was just total happiness, total tranquility, just like heaven, that there's nothing to be stressed, you know, in our modern lives that we keep have to run and run and run and work and have so much stress and the depression that exists in our modern lives. And none of this existed for those moments that are confronted with these eyes in the Quran. And it was absolutely powerful. I knew that this is not just a book. I read many books. I was in England. I was in London. And I knew that this is not a book. This is an experience. It's a transformation. Bang. You're not here anymore. It doesn't just leave you. I mean, this journey of this Surah Fajr shows you the history. 
He shows you the future in the judgment day. He inspires you with the questions. But then he doesn't leave you. He's Arham al-Rahimin. He's very kind. He doesn't just let you go. He gives you the solution in the eyes afterwards. You, I'm talking to you. Just, you know, find the purpose in your life and act upon it. Act upon it. And this is... And immediately... Through these eyes, I knew who I wanted to be. I knew it's important to get to this spot that Allah wants me to be. So I was like curious. I was like, oh my God, what is this nafsul mutmainna? How do I become like that? I want to know more. I want to research more. I want to find out. I have to talk to this person, to that person. I was so motivated to that place, which is the nearest to Allah always interested in humanitarian works i mean i was living in the most powerful and richest countries in the world but i always knew that there are poor people in poor countries um which are struggling and it always bothered me inside i know that in this ayah it was just talking to me to my plans and he insists in the surah that in order to get to this place you have to do the infaq you have to get even move from that state that i was I didn't want the surah to be finished. I was just in total, in this circle of happiness that I never felt before. This experience, this transformation. And you convert to Islam. The first sentence that you have to say is just, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. So it was so beautiful. You don't have to do anything else. It's this one word. In no other religion, in no other practices, you see that the vocabulary and one sentence can be so powerful that can enter you into a religion or a set of thinking or belief. And, you know, that's why the first thing that you say is Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Because when you want to become a Muslim, you should accept the fact that there is no me anymore. It's only Allah. And who? could have Quran and still be unhappy. If you have Allah in your life, you're happy. You're absolutely going to be happy. Only with Allah and the Quran that happiness can enter your heart and life and it can change you. I think one of the things that I ask Allah to be is to be pure. For every little step that you do, Allah is shakur. He is thankful for everything that you do. I just don't know what I would have been doing. I think there's this ayah in the Quran that actually explains the people who have faith in Allah and those who don't have faith in Allah. And uh, he compares them. Allah compares all those who believe in Allah as, who, and th as those who are alive. And I became alive. <laughs> I became alive when I found Allah in my life. I wasn't rich. I thought I was rich. I think you're rich when you have Allah in your life. Say thank to Allah for guiding me. I illustrated this book called Amazing Animals, which are just about the particular animals that are mentioned in the Quran. In the Surah Fil, for example, or in the Surah Mulk, um, where he talks about the birds or the snake. So this book is about how we can inspire our next generation. Since I got to know the Quran and I started again, I started my life from the beginning. So I know how the children think and feel. That you enjoy this book and I hope that uh, you guys can support me in publishing this book. So together, united, strong and hopeful, we can make a difference. We are so lucky and we are so lucky just to be created by Allah. We are so lucky and we must be so special, all of us, that we are guided by Allah and we get to practice and even our tongues get to say the name of Allah, get to say Alhamdulillah. Interesting and motivational for me was this, that if you have faith, if you believe in Allah, if you believe in Islam, the, the value of that belief, the value of that particular ideology and thinking is when you do something with it, is when you act upon it. And that's when that value and thinking in 
your mind or in your heart or in your character it becomes precious also understood from the quran is this that you elevate you know with every good deed that you do you elevate yourself i think there's this